one. But before we go any further, Gordon, I want to start with some really sad news in the running world. Dion Lendor passed away on Monday evening, multiple time Olympian representing Trinidad and Tobago, medaled in the world championships on the global scene and, and the Olympics as well. He was a Bowerman winner during his time at Texas A&M, and he put together just some very memorable and spectacular 400 meter runs throughout his career. Passed away in a car accident, leaving practice where he served as a volunteer assistant as well for the Aggies. So just very, very sad news um, indeed coming out of the, the track world on the passing of Dion Lindor. Yeah, when I saw this news, I was shocked. Um, you just don't realize that like anything can happen. Like you could be the healthiest person in the world, having you're feeling like you're just doing the right things in life. You're going on, you're representing your country multiple times internationally. You're excelling extremely well in whatever you focused on. And then something is just so wild, like a just another car act a car accident can just like end that. And it just makes you really think about, man, this this world is this life is not what we think it's always gonna be, right? And mm -hmm. I just I didn't believe it when it first happened. I was like, no, the, this can't be true. Like, nah, hit that guy. And I also thought about like who this person was. And I remember I joined Flow Track in 2014, which was basically the year he kind of jump started his career. He went on to win the Bowerman in 2014. Mm -hmm. And people didn't, may not remember, but like he was like the OG dominant one one that i mean og of this era like you know there's the jeremy warners and the mm -hmm. quincy watts but like of this era the 400 meter man to dominate the the seasons both indoor and outdoor mm -hmm. where no one could beat this guy you knew he was gonna anchor a four by four to victory he was basically unstoppable and he went on to win the bowerman he broke mm -hmm. a bunch of texas a m records now a few years later Fred Curley would go on and break them even more, but he was basically the guy who like put Texas A&M on the map or kept them on the map in that 2014, 2015 era. And he also was just like such a fun guy to be around. He always had a smile. I remember we're seeing this right now. I went to the, a track shack with him back in 2017 with him and his teammate, Braylon Taplin. And he gave me a tour of his house. He was such like a, he always had a smile on his face. He never mm -hmm. took life too seriously. He was a joy to be around from my perspective of like interviewing after interviewing him after races. And I'm sure that joy that I experienced, whether it was just for five to 10 minutes, you know, five times a year, I'm sure that joy was even more palpable and, you know, contagious mm -hmm. with him at practice, with him in, in track meets and his competition and it's just man it it sucks it is not the guy was the guy was cool the guy was such a joy to be around he was obviously talented but from my perspective just hanging out with him after practice post a race he just yeah. had a contagious smile and it sucks that this is it has to end like this and it just it makes no sense man it makes absolutely no sense and it makes you really think that like you know, life is very precious and we don't really control it the way as much as we think we do. You know, we can eat healthy, we can train hard, we can think we do all the right things, but then something like a freak car accident can just end it. So uh, big prayers to his family, his teammates, uh, Texas A&M community. Um, mm -hmm. They lost a really special person, someone who I will never forget. Is, and he was such a joy to be around when he was in the sport. I wanted just to share what Olivia Ekpone wrote, fellow Aggie and our colleague here. Uh, she said, Dion, you were an incredible teammate. And one thing's for sure, you knew how to put a smile on our faces. Uh, I'm going to cherish the memories we had together. Rest peacefully. So again, condolences to everybody in the a and family and his family as well. So there's no easy way to transition from that 